never give you a 10. Because I don't like you. So bro, I, I always got to keep something negative in, in reference to you. So I can never give you a, you can never get that 10, okay? Hey, Couture Bays. It's your girl, Burp Rock, going live with the Retalk Talk and Bay Squad. We have to talk. It is messy outside. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fake the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? Speaking of mess, let's get into this pale news. So Ramona Singer has been fired from her real estate job because they said she is a racist and she was caught in 4k saying nigga now girl i don't think you was that dumb but you gotta be drunk so maybe it was one or the other i don't know either way god is doing his work now let's get into joe oh, buddy you see the work what up man peaks up peaks up what's up what's up Joe Buttons, what's up, Buttons? What's up, Pizza Pizza? <laughs> you see Mr. Buttons? What's up, Joey Buttons? Tough guy? <laughs> Tough guy? Nothing Buttons. Hey, Buttons, Buttons. What's up, Pizza Pizza? Child, pizza? Caesar Pena's brother is whack. He's beyond lame. And Joe Button did the right thing. He's the celebrity because had he put his hands on this broke, degenerate Dusty, then he would have got sued. At the end of the day, you should be mad at your brother for running a Ponzi scheme and getting caught up with federal indictments. Okay, Mr. Pena, you should be focused on doing better business instead of scamming the American people. On to the next. Let's get into what Krishan Rock had to say, baby, because she has woke up the internet. I'm trying to understand. So, like... The public thinks you all are broken up, and he just did an interview the other day with his baby mom here on the Do show. Do you want receipts? No, no. Oh, I got one. It's a good one. No, no, I don't want to see any No, it's nothing, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Who said sex tape, baby? But, okay. Go ahead, bitch, crying. Wait, so you guys were just together the other day, and I'm trying to follow the relationship at this point. He's laughing because she's, I don't know, fighting him because he called my phone. That's her, right? Put this, the speaker in the mouth. Bitch, first of all, Wait, he called me. I'm like, hello. They arguing. He laughing at the bitch. I'm like, what are we doing? This is weird. I, I, it's the okay. survival of blue wait, face. Wait. It's cool. I'm all, I'm surviving, y'all. I got my shit in my own name, my own account. I'm cool. I'm safe. Child, yeah. this was a mess. And this Krishan Rock interview was so good. This is going to do numbers for Jason Lee because Krishan was spilling tea, especially when it came to Koyla Ray, Miss female empowerment women empowerment women unity all that is she was trying to promote i told y'all these hoes be fake and i don't follow none of the women empowerments because the moment some did get involved all of a sudden they are cuckoo for cocoa puffs in the brain and i was so shocked because don't call me a white girl podcast spilt the real tea and i'm like koi you're not looking good out here no wonder people ain't buying your music because they know the real you but speaking of hoes let's get into kimberly kardashian kudos to her not only did she monetize being off that bank baby she took it to the bank she has officially teamed up with Swarovski and the NBA to bring in some millions building up that skims portfolio even though her designer babies treat her like Barbara Walters with the what do you do quickly baby Kim said <laughs> generate billions with a B without my man but moving right along to Kaya sexy red Sexy red, sexy red, I like you. I keep telling you, girl, you cannot keep up. And if you keep going back and forth with Kaya, your baby is going to come out like Kaya. Thug misses. You know, the one who said you was a dirty foot because we saw your poom poom on Beyonce's internet because you out here fucking with niggas who have nothing to lose. Did you forget that? I get it. Y'all love to say Kaya is broke, but 
with all that wealth, y'all reach back down to argue with her. It's weird. But moving right along, let's get into Queen Latifah. Because so many people wanted to give me a history lesson as if I didn't understand what happened in 2018. And I did. But I do want to get into this message. It says, it's crazy to me how DJ Academics is crying scared to say anything to Saucy Santana because he's a gay man and he's scared of getting canceled, but has said some of the most outlandish, vile, disrespecting, and demeaning things to black women with absolutely no fear whatsoever. Brings me back to the Malcolm X quote. The most disrespected, unprotected, and neglected person in America is the black woman. Even though I don't hold that quote in high regards, where was the lie? Where was the lie? And I get it. Y'all were like, but she was a part of the hate train. Baby, it is what it is. I believe people can evolve. And maybe she's choosing the side of right. Y'all don't give people any type of grace. But y'all want to give academics grace because a gay man said, after I knock you between the washer and dryer, I'm going to pull a ass. Child, please. Y'all will never get me to feel sorry for act because of the things he has profited off of on some of your faves but because he teamed up with one of your favorite content creators we should see the good in dj act who has never seen the good in anybody else but his bank account mr i'm the prize child please miss me with that bs and on that note what are your thoughts base squad what are your opinions comment down below i gotta go bye hoes